Hello colonists, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. Our galleon is back from Europe with two missionaries and an ore miner. So I think there's some places where I could use an ore miner. And I'll send that ship over to those places. We're still exploring the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to load some rum here on this frigate. Coats, maybe? I don't know. Coats are hard to sell. But I can try. Sugar. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's try selling sugar. Let's see if that works. Only the Dutch will buy it, though. Alright, and I have cigars and rum and... Oh, I don't know. Tobacco. One, two, three, four. How about the tobacco? Some excellent tobacco. You're going to pay for it, though. We gratefully accept 563 gold for this excellent tobacco. I would like silver. 25 silver in exchange for 232 gold. So that's less than 10 gold per ton of server. Silver. And as I recall, silver sells for about 19 gold per ton. That's not very much gold <laughs> for a ton of silver. But I will gladly pay this price. It's a pretty good price. Gas tech don't produce very much of use, but of the things that they do produce, silver is particularly desirable. I demand tribute. And these Cherokee laugh at my puny threats. Yeah, well, our threats may be puny, but our muskets are not. Observe. Yes. I've got to load some of these horses. There's too many horses in San Domingo. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. All right. Got to get our pioneers back to this road building, but there's angry Cherokee everywhere. It is tiresome. Yeah, they're going to be sorry. And I have Dutch ominously planting themselves outside of Boston. Our defenseless city of Boston is threatened by their their diabolical plan. This displeases me. I paid 400 for these trade goods, so they're going to have to pay a little more. I gratefully accept 459 gold for the trade goods. They want rum, cloth, and cigars, and I like silver. That's an even better price. And I'm pretty sure the friendlier you are with the Indians, the more you trade with them, the better price they give you. They love you if you trade a certain amount with them. All right, I'm going to send this statesman to... Let's have a look at the colony advisor. Well, Baltimore really needs help. So Baltimore is going to get this statesman. Oh, that was quick. Baltimore has produced a stable. Great. Produce an armory now. Because I need an armory to build artillery. Boston produced artillery. Oh, great. We have a colonist. We have a blacksmith in Roanoke. Good. Now I can take this gunsmith back to the armory. I can take this blacksmith into the ironworks. And I will tra train this indentured servant to be a free colonist. And then I'll have the blacksmith leave and do his job elsewhere. And there's a new man in Santo Domingo, probably because of the massive amounts of excess food being produced there. So, he's going to be a dragoon. How do you like that? Look at that, 12 tons of horses per, per season. That's pretty nice. We're overflowing with tools here in Plymouth. That's not good. And I'm just gonna Send that frigate out. That frigate has things to do. Alright. Oh, these, uh, these uh, Indians are slow. I wish they'd get off my road. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. Hmm, would you like some low quality? Oh, I'll just give them the rum. Yeah, we gratefully accept 421 gold for this rum. 
I don't want your sugar or in coats. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna try to sell some sugar here. Is this a bad idea? One, two, three, four, five, six. But I'll see what I can do. Would you like some rum? 70 rum? Rum's expensive. All right, I will accept 575. That's not a good price for rum, but it's something. I'll take that silver, though. I wonder how much silver... What do they do? Do they actually mine silver? They must. Where are they getting all of it? All right. I just need a safe route through here. I don't really care about the Cherokee at all. Roanoke has a new shipment of horses, so... You will take horses. Plymouth has tools. Get Plymouth's tools. Alright, this guy has to go this way. Fortify a path for a road to be built. And safety. Ah, king. Yes, yes, yes. You are always ill due to the ungrateful attitude of the colonists, but I cannot allow you to raise taxes. That's just not acceptable. I cannot accept such a such a uh, provocation. New tar cargo of tools, muskets, artillery, more artillery. Great. Our men are in Obscot. Now, this guy is going to make tools, and this guy is going to mine ore. And when this guy is done training, training a lumberjack, one of the ore miners will train one of these other free colonists to be an ore miner. And there are a lot of horses in this town. So I will grab several hundred of them. I will also grab... Oh, I don't know. Lumber? No. Ore. I shouldn't do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we have some coats. Wow, <laughs> look at this. They'll give me furs in exchange for coats. Why would I want furs? Here, just give me gold. Buy my crap. I'll take the hundred trade goods. Thank you. All right, trade with these guys. I'll trade 40 cigars. I will accept 284 gold for the cigars. And I want silver. All right. That wasn't a whole lot of silver, but I suppose it's better than nothing. And the frigate is at Plymouth, so I'll go up to Plymouth and load some of these tools that I'm overflowing with. There are just too many tools. This is unacceptable. Can't handle that many tools. Build a road. Alright, Santo Domingo. Oh, I already took the horses away. I don't know. Grab sugar. I don't need all this sugar. Because as you can see, there's more sugar being produced than we need. So. Where'd that wood go? I had 300 tons of lumber in Santo Domingo. What did I produce here that required wood? That was weird. I'm gonna send these criminal missionaries down to this Inca capital. One, two, three, four, five, six, where I will discuss with the Inca the many sins of their French missionaries, all of their crimes, all of the horrible French things that they do. Unload the silver. Ooh, we need horses in Boston. That's terrible. Grab some tools here. I'll leave the muskets. Want some tools? Hmm? 540 gold for some tools? Hmm? Silver? Wow. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good price. Alright, and I'll send these missionaries this way. I can't do anything with these guys right here. Colin is still blocked by Indians. Fortifying. 
Oh wow, look at all the gold I have. I've been selling muskets, you understand. Price of muskets fell a little bit. Oh, and here's expert missionaries. So I'm going to buy a frigate. Actually, depress the price of muskets slightly. And I'll set sail for the New World with the expert missionary and the gunsmith. Also, I am going to be buying privateers. Because it occurs to me that there are Dutch uh, monies being transported across the sea. And that the crown, excuse me, New England is not receiving its proper share of these monies. So we have our Drake bonus now. So might be, might work out. Oh, good. Our lumberjack is ready in Oscott. Of course, he's not the guy cutting wood. Never is. Got wood. Don't grow food. I hate that. This guy is going to leave and go to some other town. This guy is going to make... No, he's actually going to mine ore. And this guy is going to train another ore miner somewhere, somehow. Artillery. Great. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to go to Boston with those horses. We're almost done exploring the Pacific in this area. We're almost done exploring the whole map. It's pretty good. Anything in Baltimore? A little bit of rum. I don't know. About 100 sugar. 50 horses for 100 sugar? What am I trading you rum for? May as well just trade you useless junk like lumber and sugar. You'll accept it. Sugar, I've got 300 tons of it. Come on. Tobacco. Ore. Give me that ore. This is good stuff. I can actually sell it. Whether it's worth doing or is important is another question, but... It is a question that I prefer not to consider too closely. I like money. I like huge fleets of privateers. Things like that. Uh, you know, I don't even... Just grab that sugar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our missionary is getting a little bit closer to the Inca city. Cool. All right, silver to Boston. Gotcha. This guy's, I'm just gonna have him stop right here because this road belongs to me. This Indian's just gonna have to get out of my way. And we have cleared the forest near Santa Domingo. We'll produce more food there now. Great. And the statesman is blocked by this stupid Indian. Get off of my road. Ore miner, cool. We have an ore miner in Boston. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's cutting wood. All right. Well, now we have two ore miners. Now this guy's cutting wood. We don't have an expert lumberjack in Boston as of this time. Although that's silver. <laughs> hmm. All right. And we have a statesman in Guadalupe. Great. Making tools, of all things. So we're pretty close to 100% Guadalupe, so I'm going to cram both of these statesmen into the town hall and see if I can't find find our way to 100% uh, rebel sentiment in Guadalupe. Muskets, huh? All right. Go, Boston. Baltimore. Why am I in Baltimore again? I don't know. Or, yeah, just grab all of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. About a hundred sugar. Uh, I'll take the gold. Yeah, sure. All right. One, two. Trade goods. I will accept 890 gold for the trade goods. That's actually a really good price. They need tobacco, cloth, and rum. I don't want that junk. You can keep it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Wish I had some horses over in Roanoke or Plymouth. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Soon my evil fleet of... Oh, good. Our, our road is done. Is that the Cherokee? Got bad news for those guys. They have violated my human rights. 100 sugar for 50 horses? Yes, I'll take that. Two, three, four, five. All right. So now our missionaries have reached the mountains. This is going to take uh, over a year to traverse, unfortunately. But we'll get there. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five, nine. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. Plow that land. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoa, that was confusing. The price of rum has just about collapsed. Continue. Horses at Santa Domingo. Nothing new there. So the price of rum is actually really cheap. This is because I've been selling massive quantities of rum from places like Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo produces 72 rums... Runs. I just said rums. 70... Santo Domingo produces 72 tons of rum every season. I mean, that's just a lot of rum flowing into the... into the... right here. A lot of rum flowing into, into London. Very hard on the prices. All right, how about these guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. Want some more? Sure, I'll take a hundred trade goods for a hundred ore. I love that. Six, seven. Wow, look at all these. Look at all these bulging galleons. One, two, three, four. Want some sugar? I'll take their gold. They don't seem to like sugar much. Could just be my imagination, though. Fortify this guy here. One, two. Tools? A hundred sugar? No, I don't want that. No, I don't think so. That's not gonna happen. All right. Build a road over this river using the technology of bridge building. Want some more sugar, please? I'll take another 50 horses. Heck, I got all the sugar you want. I'll keep all your food sweet. Next time on... Oh, well, let me attack this cow in here. English privateer sunk. I got bad news for you, buddy. There's more where that came from. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot more where that came from. Next time on Let's Play Colonization, our fleet of privateers is going to wreak havoc on the Dutch. Because we are not receiving our fair share of all of their money. We are taxing the Dutch with muskets. Firing musket balls into their purses. Anyway, see you then.